now that we've taken a look at how to take oscillator one, oscillator two, and oscillator three, and bring that into the mixer section, we've also taken a look at how to get the ring modulation into the mixer and the noise, and then how the mixer feeds into the filter and how that works. Now I wanna add some texture to that third synth that we created on this gentle harpoon patch. So to get things started, I'm gonna do all three synths. I'm gonna push the hold button and I'll do an A minor chord. To control the volume of synth three, I'm gonna push synth three and then I have volume control. Bring it right about there. Now I want to introduce an LFO onto synth number three. The LFOs are on the far left section here. The pitch modulation has already been assigned to work from LFO one amount. And so if I turn up the amount here, we can hear what effect that has on the sound. I then have LFO one on the top left, which will change the speed or even change the waveform type. And I can dial back the amount to a place where I'd like it. I have the mod EG amount, which is the modulation envelope over on the far right side. So I can add how much of that envelope is contributing to that modulation sound. Until I get a sound that I like. If I want to hear just that sound on its own, I'm going to press in synth one and synth two. I'll deselect hold. And now I'll just hear that sound that we created to complement the overall patch. Let's go to synth three, press hold, and that will stop that sound as well. Any of the LFOs can be reassigned to go to any destination on the synth. If I wanna do that, I just have this destination button on the bottom right hand corner. When I push that, I get this window and any knob that I touch is going to get reassigned. So I could say something like my decay of my modulation envelope is going to be assigned to my LFO3. Pushing the home button will get me out of that screen and back to my main screen. So I really do have a deep amount of flexibility for what my LFOs are controlling. This video was designed just to give you a quick overview of how to get started on the Moog One. If you subscribe and if you hit the notification, you will stay updated on future videos that I do. Thanks for checking it out.